we're going to make some garlic butter today. For those of you who love garlic bread, it's a wonderful thing to make at home. So for garlic butter, we only really need three ingredients. We need garlic, we need butter, and then herbs of your choice. I've got a jar of mixed herbs here. So let's get cracking. First is open up the cloves of garlic, and we're gonna be doing three of these, depending on how much butter you need to make. So um, my uh, clove is quite little, I guess one, two, three, fairly small. And uh, let me grab my knife. I'm sure some of you know the trick of where you smash down the clove. It makes that lovely noise. And then we're going to peel that clove. So this is the bulb, the, the round part that looks like a flower bulb. The individual sections are called cloves. Sometimes people get confused, but it's not a big deal. Um, so three of these, I'm just getting the paper off. I'm making a fair amount of garlic butter so that you can put it in the freezer afterwards or you can serve a whole lot of people. There we go. And the key with this is to get it really quite fine. I'm just gonna cut off the slightly woody corner of each clove. That's kind of optional, that little one doesn't have any. And we're just going to get it as little as we can and sometimes we can use the technique I call the pivot technique. It's different to the, the usual ones of the claw and the bridge. Pivot technique is when you have like a bigger knife and you just kind of keep squashing it down like that. And we want to get it really fine. If you wanted to use a blender for this part you could. Let me see if I can get a better knife. I think this one isn't the best one for that job. So a big knife can help, or a really little knife that you have more control over. And this one I'm just almost kind of whacking down like that. So this is you getting your garlic as little as you can. Some people are very good at getting it very fine. Um, and you could use garlic powder or garlic salt in your garlic butter if you like. But obviously the fresher the garlic, the more flavour you're going to get. It's just a little bit more work. Okay, so that's fairly fine. And we're not really cooking the garlic, so again, like it's going to have that very stringent flavour. So this is only for real garlic lovers. Otherwise, like I said, you'd use the dry garlic, which has less potency. So I've got that down pretty much as little as I can. I'm going to put that in a bowl, a microwave safe bowl actually, because we're going to put that in the microwave to get it into a spreadable consistency. That's roughly three cloves of garlic there, um, and then. We're gonna put in a fair bit of butter. Like I said, we're making quite a lot. So I would say that's about 50 grams of butter. Putting that on top. And then a dash of any herb that you like. Uh, traditionally, it would be something like basil or rosemary or oregano. Here, we've got mixed herbs. And that's all gonna melt down in the microwave. And it really only needs to go in for about 30 seconds. So let's wait for the magic of, uh, of that. I hope that's not too loud and that you can hear me <laughs> even though the microwave is going. Yeah, just sharing with you basically how simple it is to make garlic butter. And I've got a really nice Turkish loaf of bread, which um, we like to use because it's, it's just really pretty. It's got the sesame seeds on it, but you can put your garlic butter on any kind of loaf. You can put it on a baguette, you can put it on sliced bread, you can put it on a bagel, honestly, anything that takes you.